Hello. Good morning. Would you like some water? Oh, thank you. How are you feeling? I'm fine. So am I. I'm really excited to be here. What's up, guys, and welcome back. This is day two, our first full day here at Seneva Johnny, and um, we're getting started bright and early. It's 7 a.m. The sun is rising. We have a full day ahead of us. You know what? I think we need some fresh air and, and our... Oh, that was close. Fresh air and sunshine in our room. We'll pretend like that didn't happen. How are you feeling? You had a good night last night? Do you know it was open when we came in last night? It was. I remember us shutting it. Look at that. That's pretty incredible. So yeah, uh, last night, super low key. Uh, we just, you know, went to bed early. Didn't get into any trouble or anything like that. I rewatched some of the footage. I was. We did technically go to bed early, but that's just because that's what you did. Yeah, I, I had a personal party. I took I took some me time. I'll probably mention this in the voiceover on that video, but it's just like, you know, think about planning something for months and months and months and stressing out about it and that kind of thing and finally having that release. I guess my release was just a little jet lagged. That was my, my moment to just kind of let go and enjoy. That was the moment you got engaged, I guess. What I had done. Yeah, I was just a little bit behind you. So um, we actually, funny enough, because we're on the other side of the world, we wanted to announce the engagement at, at like a good time for people in the US, obviously. Yeah. And uh, it, that's pretty much nighttime for us. Now, obviously we didn't post about it last night, but somehow I woke up at 6 a.m. or 4, 4 a.m., 4 a.m., woke her up and we put our post together and officially posted the engagement on social media, which I'm gonna be honest, it's been nice the last couple of days to you know kind of enjoy it for ourselves, but um, it was really cool to share with you guys. And the messages have been so good. I've, I haven't gone to sleep. I've been up since 4 a.m. Just reading messages, responding to people. It's, it's been so cool. So thank you guys so much. We're very excited to upload these videos as well. Feels like I'm walking in like a commercial or something. What is this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I believe the only thing we have on our agenda today is snorkeling. Actually, I think we have a, a dolphin cruise as well and then dinner. But um, I think we're just really gonna mosey around the resort. I feel bad. Chelsea's probably a little tired. I know she had to put up a a lot of me last night, but uh, I had a great time and I think she did too. The best way to wake up at Seneva Johnny. Woo! That thing flies. So Holy cow, I was not expecting that. Babe, that is a legitimate water slide. Is it scary? I, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, kind of a leisurely thing, but you pick up speed. Really? That itch, you fly off of it. Don't scare me off of it. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. And if there is any question as to whether or not I was awake, or, you know, feeling a little hungover or something, insta, insta cured. Okay, so here's the thing. This slide never got old. Like, I, I started every morning for the rest of our trip with at least a couple of slides down this thing. It was the best way to wake up, and I'm pretty sure I need one at home now. We took a few photos out in the pool deck, ordered some breakfast to the room, had kind of a slow morning, and then it was time to head out for the day. So, we are going to explore the resort, and... We're gonna do it on e-bikes. This is crazy. Chelsea, these are so nice. E-bikes are so expensive and every room comes with two. But how am I gonna ride this? It is a little tall. Go ahead. Let's see what you got. Thank you so much. Thank you. Breakfast was delicious. I can't get on it. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you how just <laughs> you just gotta commit. I'm gonna fall every <laughs> single time I stop. <laughs> little girl on a big bike. <laughs> It looks like mine, mine is the same, babe. They're just not meant for short people. <laughs> I'm sure they have smaller options if we need it. They also, they do have the one that, that doesn't have electricity. If you want to pedal around. 
You got it. Short girl problems. Now I really, I don't want you to get hurt. Really but let's let's try it. Just uh, when you're getting off, you just gotta lean. You know you gotta lean. It's the stopping. Oh, it'll be okay. Off you go. Look at that. Fantastic. <laughs> Babe, how cool is this? So you can pedal like normal, or you can turn the e-bike part on, and there's a little that little throttle right there. You can just push or it's also got like pedal assist. So you just move your feet a little bit and it'll, it'll assist you. This is amazing. This place is just so incredible. So we just came through here. I'm pretty sure the GoPro died. It was pretty epic. I'm sure you guys will see it again. Park the bikes and we just found a casual driftwood beach that nobody's at. This place is cool. This is, I mean, this, it's like we're on our own little private island. I don't, have you, have you really seen anybody? Only when we were eating dinner last night. I, I didn't even see anybody like out in their villas and stuff. No. It's, everything is just so secluded and so peaceful. This is amazing. So last night when we came in and we were getting the tour, Asthma, our barefoot butler, yeah. told us about these, they call them walking trees. Do you remember what the official name was? Something pine, I'd have to get back to you. But it's called a walking tree because it continues to grow roots out and it looks like it's walking. It looks like a centipede. And they say yeah. that, that they constantly have to cut them back because the trees literally walk yeah, and move. They get huge. Honestly, it reminded me of like a like a horror movie or something. I feel like if you were a little dark, bit, I'd be a little scared. Look at the, yeah, look at this. It's like a little centipede tree. Walking towards the water, I guess. That's where he wants to go. Yeah. Yep. Oh, perfect. Yeah, keep working it, babe. Oh yeah, get a little more up, up on the arms, up on the arms. Yep. Oh, killing it. Simone Biles, is that you? I don't think Simone would have trouble getting on the tree the way I did. <laughs> I was really hoping she was going to fall off when I started recording here, but unfortunately, no luck. This guy said, screw a house. I want a whole apartment complex. Yeah, he did. Okay, a hermit crab has more patience than I do. Yeah, Let's go. Done. We found more wildlife. Look at this big guy. Oh my goodness, he's fast. Every time I see them, all I hear is, hey, 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 <laughs> from Finding Nemo. So we made it to the gathering. This is just so incredible. Oh my goodness. I want to go on those swings out there. Did you see those? Did you see the hammock? The swings yes. and the hammock. Yes. All of it. I want all of it. This is just unreal. So we were like way over there. Like you go over water and then you go over the island and we're like on the other side of the island. Yeah. This is the other end of the resort. So this is chapter one. This is the original side of it built in 2016. And then chapter two was kind of the expansion. Yeah, so 2020, I think she said ours is like 13 months old is how old our villa is. That's crazy. But I'm curious to know if this is like and have a fushi inside or if it's going to be like ours inside or if it's going to be different completely well we'll find out tomorrow yeah. i'm excited to check it out i kind of almost feel like the water over here is a little bit better the color and everything sun just hid behind some clouds yeah, but that um didn't, that didn't help yeah the we're we're gonna go inside and check it out wow we've got a, a boutique yeah and spend a lot of money Hey, listen, here in the near future, all my money is going to be your money, so you might want to start being a, you know, one more frugal. <laughs> We've got a kitchen. Our dinner is where? See where it's like that small circle and then there's just a couple tables on top? Or maybe it's just one big table, I can't tell. Oh, but that's, that's really cool. Dinner. Yeah, and I think we're going to actually get maybe like some stargazing lessons. I know and like a telescope and stuff? It. Yeah, but this wow. sounds like it's... It's a whole experience, not just to walk up and look at whatever they have the telescope on. So I'm That's really cool. excited about that. It's gonna be great. I mean, we gotta we gotta check this out. Oh my goodness, it's a chocolate room. Oh my god, the wine with the ladder? That's your dream. This is insane. Wow. This is so cool. This is like if Willy Wonka lived in the Maldives. 
essentially. It, it's, it, it doesn't end. You've got more things up here. You've got jars of brittle. You've got, and I think they fresh make all this every day, so. I'm pretty sure it's all dairy free. It is. I think they do that? Do they do the cacao here? I think so. I think they yeah. grow it. It's crazy. I am falling more and more in love by the minute. They have a whole meats and cheeses room as well. So we have meat, cheese, wine, and chocolate. Yeah, and I did hear a rumor ice cream. You are just going to find me here. There's an upstairs portion. We're going to go check this out after you. Oh, there's gym. This is cool. So I think there's a couple different gyms, one of which is out in the jungle. One is at the spa that we kind of saw on our tour yesterday. I don't know if we showed you guys. This one is over water. Oh my goodness. I will say, most every vacation, I look at the gym and I'm like, oh my God, I need to be in here. But the food here is so healthy and light and organic. I'm like, I'm good. I don't need to be We're here. behaving, we're swimming, we're <laughs> running around. Like, I mean, it wouldn't hurt, but it's definitely not necessary. Look. At this, is this a conference room? It's a dining setup conference room. Oh, wow. Anything you want it to be. A glass bridge. A glass bridge across to the most oh. epic dining area ever. This place That's just awesome. never ceases to amaze. And we may as well get a little preview of where we're gonna be eating dinner tonight. Yeah. While we can see the beautiful water and everything. Wow, wow. yeah. Wow, okay. So we're gonna have a table. I think this telescope pops out of the ground or maybe they carry it up, I'm not sure. Just an incredible evening under the stars listening to the ocean. I'm looking forward to that. Look, look at the sandbank over here, you see that? Wow. That's quite big enough for... I should, have got, I should have got that. That's no. enough room for me to put one knee down. <laughs> That's pretty solid. And just like that, we made it to the Crab Shack. So this is the beach that we can see. Our villa is somewhere right over there. We didn't make it here for breakfast, but um, lunch should be really good. This is <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> and there's home somewhere right over there. But my goodness, look at this. I've got, when you have a bucket and you've already got shell crackers at the table. You know you're gonna have a good time. I'm about to be drowning in butter, babe. I'm sorry. I know you'd love seafood if you could have it. I don't think I would. I couldn't pinpoint the best part of this place, but I I really think it might be the food. I mean, the people are so friendly. Yeah. It's so beautiful. The water's so great. The sea life, everything is so good. But the food, the food at Seneva, yes. at both places, yes. is just so insane. Look at this. Fresh French baguette. We've got extra virgin olive oil, the spicy chili, chili one, and then a uh, okay. garlic pepper oil homemade. That sounds delicious. Calamari fritti. She's got a gazpacho. I've got some mud crab coming. If you were wondering what a Maldivian mud crab looks like, I was not ready it's, for that. It's this. This is massive. This thing is insane. There's. Oh, I'm so excited. I got the spicy version, so it this is all. Smells very good. Whatever's yeah. on it smells really good. It's gonna be good. This was undoubtedly one of the best lunches of my life. The views, the food, the everything. I even got to wear a bib, which you guys know what that means. It was a bit messy. Sorry for the splash damage, Chels. Luckily, she did not ingest any seafood because she would not have a good day if that happened. She's deathly allergic. And uh, then it was time to head to our first event of the day. From lunch to snorkeling, Look at this. This is crazy. If your room is on the far end of the resort like we are, they offer a speedboat ride to the front of the resort so you don't have to ride your bike the whole way. It's the little stuff like this that really makes Soneva feel so special. Oh, wow. We have a dolphin sunset cruise tonight. We already saw dolphins. That's a pretty good sign. It is. All right. Snorkel number two. Here we go. Let's see what we get.
Snorkeling was a success. We saw a bunch of different sea life. It was beautiful, but I'm going to be honest. It didn't beat Snevafushi. There's something about being able to step out of your villa onto your private beach straight into the water on a beautiful reef rather than taking a boat ride and, and jumping in and stuff. But it was still great to get into the water. Afterwards, we headed back to the room. We hopped in the pool, which by the way, the pools are fresh water, which is super nice. You wash that salt off. We hung out for a little bit and then it was time for our dolphin cruise. We learned from our last one. That this is the spot. Everyone wants to go up top. That's not the place to go. You want to be right up front so you can lean over and see them all. So wish us luck. Two for two on dolphin cruises. And two different kinds, so that was really cool. I feel like this doesn't happen often. I don't know. There's and something magic in the like air. A ray right here. Yeah. We're not even on an excursion. He's just hanging out. Do you think he's the same one that was on the drone earlier? Oh, maybe. Because he. Oh, where'd he go? Lighting. He's bashful. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Hi, Did buddy. A spicy sea wow. pancake. A spicy sea pancake. We ended our night with dinner under the stars. This restaurant has only a few tables available each night, and while you're eating, you get to look at the sky with Soneva's resident astronomer. It was tons of fun and very educational, and dessert was incredible. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted as well. You look amazing, by the way. I like that on you. You picked it out. I know. It was one of the dresses in the order, right? I got a compliment from our... Barefoot Butler, too. Oh. Like, my man this for me. Well, that's nice. So, we're going to see you guys in our next video. There is one thing for certain. You go to bed tired here. There's always something going on. You've eaten so well, drank so well, swam so much, that kind of thing. It's a great spot. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Catch you all later. Nice. Peace out.